Jordan Tower with JT News. Well, Ebro and Little Yachty went back and forth on Twitter the other day. This has been a continuing feud since he's been up to Hot 97 when he was asked to spit a freestyle. He started to go in a little bit. I'm not going to lie, a little bit, but then he couldn't catch a flow. But if you're a new artist and you're going up to Hot 97, I would just opt out of freestyling in the beginning until I'm ready to go up there and freestyle. Because, like, some people have been put on, like, Little Uzi, Little Yachty, have been put on the spot and kind of haven't been able to come through, which is fine, you know? Like, it's a, it's a lot of pressure, you know what I mean? Now, a lot of people don't like Little Yachty's style, and they criticize him for it. Can, imagine getting criticized for this every day, day in and day out, Twitter, Instagram, everything, you know? Of course, he's got the youth. He's got the youth ears. They love him. But... Older people, like, you know, 28 and above, we're, they're all you, well, I'm, I'm over 28, so we're used to, like, Nas and, you know, Wu-Tang and, you know, stuff like that. So, basically, it sounds a lot different to us, but a lot of these people can't get with the time. See, I, I'm adaptable. It's like hip-hop evolved, all music evolves over time. These kids are making more, music is more about a feeling now and not about the poetry. It's more about a feeling, and you... The kid has the kid makes decent songs. You can't even lie. Like a lot of these kids are making good music. So let's get back to so so basically he wasn't able to perform like he wanted to in Hot 97. That bothered him. So he made a song called For Hot 97 where he was showcasing some of his bars. Then uh, Ebro came on and kind of bashed the song a little bit, jokingly. He sounds like they love him too. Rapping about nothing. All these, you know what? All these young men, all these young men, stop being so bitch made. Gently, Lil Yachty wants us to know what his capabilities are. That for high nine seven, you showcase your bar, right? Because you caught feelings. I didn't catch feelings. Nah, you it catch your feelings. Everybody on the internet, and nigga, you, nigga, that shit is hard, bro. I, I don't care if you sixty nine, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Then Little Yachty called up and they discussed that. And he's like, okay, you got your bars. You got a fan base. I ain't going to lie. You got a fan base. But step your bars up more. And Little Yachty kind of laughed it off. And then we saw Little Yachty on some radio station out in L.A. just a few weeks ago. And he was going – he was venting about, I'm sick of these old heads. You know, hip-hop ain't the same anymore. It's about a vibe. It's a, it's not about spinning on cardboard anymore. Now all the old ass niggas talking about how it needs to stay the same. Now let me talk on this real quick. See, I feel like all these old ass niggas need to stop hating on the young youth saying that rap ain't the same no more. I don't have to spit a fucking cold 16 no more. It's not the same, bro. Niggas is not doing spin moves on cardboard boxes no more. Like. Yes, that's the essence of hip hop. There, you got to respect the essence of anything, right? You know, hip hop was an art form. It was kind of basic but melodic in the beginning, telling stories. Then it got deeper into poetry. Then it kind of eased back into some like street rap, and then now it's more about swag rap. But there's still you got your lyricists. There's still people that respect that art. But then there's also swag rap. It's developing into different areas and it's cool i mean come on think about where hip-hop started in the bronx just in the bronx now it controls culture it's amazing you know what i mean so like you got to give these kids credit this is what they're feeling we were feeling a certain vibe when we were their age and remember when we were 19 little yachty's age and we looked at all the people in their 30s and they're like those old people don't even understand what the fuck's going on because if you're older and you're not listening to what the youth wants you're out of touch, man. Do you think Coca-Cola and Sprite and, and all these big companies could continue to sell products to the youth if they weren't in tune with what's going on with marketing? You have to be in tune with what's going on. Now, if you want to stick to your 90s, 2000, early 2000s type of vibe, do that, you know? But don't criticize the young kids for doing what they do. So, uh, Little Yachty and Ebro went through it recently on Twitter and little Yachty knew this would get everybody charged up when he said, I want to be Nas. I want to be rich. And you know, all the core hip hop fans that that would piss them off because Nas is like the hero of lyrics. And then someone <laughs> said, little Yachty is the new Nas. And little Yachty said, I love this tweet for the simple fact. Tell him that it will make old people. And then Ebro chimes in the troll 
is a part of these new rappers are. I wish bars and great music were too. And then Lil Yachty goes back, God, I was waiting on you, Grandpa. Ebro, how are you? Are you taking your meds? Are you drinking your coffee this morning? And then uh, Ebro said, I knew you was, son. You still dressing funny and being goofy since you left home. Let me know when this phase is over. And then Lil Yachty said, by the time this phase is over, you'll be long gone, my friend. And then Ebro said, uh, you're very sure of your gimmick lasting, eh? Okay, good luck with that. And then Yachty said, guess we will just have to see, won't we? And then uh, Ebro goes back in. Makes sense. You got clown, clown hair because he has the red hair. So you listen to clown radio. And then little Yachty said, would you talk about your hair? But, uh, well, yeah, you know, <laughs> like, like it doesn't exist. And then uh, Ebro says, real tears. By the way, Serena want her beads back. <laughs> and then Yachty said, and with that being said, it's long. It's time for bingo, Ebro. And then Ebro said, I got shooters. Who knew? And then uh, Yachty said, more like chess buddies or corner store buddies or family feud buddies. That we, It was funny. It was a funny back and forth. And then... Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. And then, uh, you know, like Yachty goes like, I'm too busy trying to uh, raise your ratings by going back and forth with you. And then he said, I just flamed the, flipped the channel of the breakfast club. I can't hear you. And then he said, everybody throw tomatoes at old man Ebro, blah, blah, blah. It was funny. It was a funny back and forth. So they're going to keep this going. Hey, little Yachty's dope to me. I mean, he's a young kid doing whatever the fuck he wants. Don't we wish we were making money like him when we were 19, just doing whatever the fuck we wanted. But, uh, Anyways, just updating you on this little back and forth with Ebro. It's funny. And uh, tell me what you guys think. Do you guys like you, Little Yachty? Are you guys adaptable? Or do you guys just not care for his music but let him do his thing? I mean, some people really get mad about Little Yachty and everything. I mean, what's there to be mad about? Just listen to what you like. It's free. It's a free life. You can do whatever you want. <laughs>